Hey guys, we're back with another uh, episode here. Um, this is not still the official kickoff, but we wanted to get you guys a head start on post-production work, as my man Philip is gonna come on the scene right now, talk to you guys about some post-production work in Photoshop. Uh, I know some of you have asked about Lightroom. Yes, we will get to Lightroom as well. I will be showing you guys how to use Lightroom uh, to process all your photos. Uh, but in this uh, case, uh, Philip is gonna really get down and dirty with you guys, show you a bunch of techniques uh, in order to make all your landscapes and even your portrait shots that much more interesting. We're here perched up on a hill uh, right next to the Griffith Observatory as you can see behind us. Um, we've got LA to my rear right here, uh, back behind me, not to my rear. Big shout out to all my people around the world, Belgium, India, Saudi Arabia, got some subscribers from over there so I just want to say what's up, thank you for tuning in, I uh, hope to see some of you guys' images, if you have any questions please let us know. We're also going to be showing you DSLR. Uh, tutorials as well basic so for those of you guys have your Canon cameras and don't know how to use them yet we're gonna show you how to do that as well <sighs> all right guys the, that was a pretty that was a pretty hard hike but we made it up here uh, today we're gonna do some landscape shooting so uh, we're gonna basically try to take a good shot of LA we're also gonna do a little bit of time lapsing so you'll see you'll see some animating some uh, clouds animating from left to right after all this we're gonna take take all this and beautify it and uh, take it into post-production and make it work. So stick around. You guys get on your computers and begin to learn. I want you to learn. We're gonna turn you into an expert. This is all set up right here. Everything's ready to go. Now I just need my timer. Bought this one at Amazon.com for 20 bucks. It's called Shoot. It's um, made in China. Uh, it's not like a Canon approved uh, remote, but it does the job and it's very cheap. So, hey, if you want to save some money, I'd say go with it. But if you do want to get the high end, be my guest. It's fine. Whatever does the job, right? My settings here are going to be 10 seconds per image. And I think that'll do, uh, I think that'll do all right. I'm going to capture an image per 10 seconds of the LA landscape. So I'm gonna set my camera to shutter priority. So I'm gonna keep a constant shutter, leave the aperture constant, my ISO at 100. You know what, it's not that bright today. I may wanna up in that up to 400, just to make sure that I do have enough light, a sensibility, sensibility to light. And my timer's ready to go at 10 seconds. So I'm ready to go here, I'm ready to rock. Here we go. All right, guys, uh, we've been time lapsing for about 10 minutes or so, and I realized that this lens was not wide enough for uh, the task. So we decided to switch over to this Tokina lens and 11 by 16 with an F stop of 2.8. So I think for now, we're going to put this one on the back burner and let this one rock. Hey guys, it's been about one hour. Um, I believe that's our, this will be our last shot right here. Quick. And um, I believe we got some good footage here of the clouds, West LA. So now we're going to take these images and into post-production, beautify them and make them look awesome. Alright guys, um, this is one of the images that we just took of Los Angeles. It's very gray, muddy, and ugly, so we want to make this look a little better than, than, than what you see. Um, we're going to get rid of that sky because it's just too boring and ugly. So uh, we're also going to bump up the levels, make this brighter and more saturated so it looks more presentable. So let's go ahead and make sure this is CMYK and that's fine. Okay, so let's start off with selective color. Now we want to go delete all the colors from, from the whites. So I'm going to take away those cyans, magentas, and yellows, and blacks. 
Now after this we go into neutrals and take away the black make it this little brighter at the bottom and let's apply some brightness and contrast we'll bump this up to we want to make sure it's checked on use legacy so we want to bump this up to 40 and bring this up to about 70 you can see we this area does not matter because we're going to replace it with the sky but the bottom area here is a little more green a little more uh, prettier for lack of a better word okay so we're uh, we're good with that so let's go ahead and, and import that cloud we we'll use this cloud right here we'll copy and paste it and let's position that around here all right and we want to mask this too so we don't want that hard edge at the bottom so let's go ahead and apply uh, a layer mask we want to use the gradient tool to soften this hard edge so let's go ahead and, and apply this from bottom to the top and that looks like looks about right so we also want to take away some color from the clouds it, this looks a little washed out it's um, uh, too so let's go ahead and oops okay let's go ahead and apply another select color but we're going to actually copy this mask up here so it's so this doesn't apply to the whole image so by pressing alt click just copy that there you want to replace the mask yes all right so let's go ahead and click here and we want to go onto the whites and delete cyan magenta and yellow and maybe black too and it doesn't really affect much but you can see how this this affects here so you can see now that LA background has a better uh, sky it looks like it's a clean sky it's I don't even know when L you'll ever see Los Angeles like this but with the power of Photoshop we can make anything happen so um, if you're not too happy with this washed out blue we can definitely pump pump up or bump up the blue here so we can go up to cyan and maybe bump it up a little more As you can see it looks, looks, the blue looks a little more rich maybe we could take out the magenta or add magenta let's say leave it alone maybe we can add yellow or not take out the yellows blacks and you can see how this picture is trying to it's now taking a different turn um, maybe we can go into blues and, and affect the blue even more we can you can see how the blues are getting more rich maybe take away more magenta or not I'd say leave it alone yellows leave that alone leave it at zero and blacks do nah. it's all up to you by the way so if you like a darker sky that's fine as a matter of fact let's say a little darker is okay so finally you can see here that we replaced that ugly sky we made the trees greener and uh, basically put these two images together to make have this image of Los Angeles from boring and muddy to something that is more acceptable okay so hopefully you guys learned a few tricks and tips here from from uh, from myself and uh, we'll see you soon thanks all right guys we're uh, we're wrapping up for the day and uh, we just want to thank you guys again for tuning in if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, we've got lots of tutorials coming up uh, if you have questions or even suggestions on some of the stuff you guys want to see, let us know. We will leave links in the description bar below uh, to all the products that we use today, um, even the microphone that we're using to film on. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Uh, until then, thank you guys. High five, full cameras. Whoa, share speed. <laughs>